We know that a lot of organizations and services use drones for search and rescue. One of the things that we do here at the Air Lab is try to develop and perfect the autonomy software for these drone systems and that requires the use of a lot of sensors. What you're seeing here are some samples of drones that we have built, designed, and tested over the past five or six years. These are all for different programs, but they all kind of have one purpose in mind, to go out, seek a target, find an object, locate that, and then be able to transmit that information back to a rescue team. Our initial beginning with search and rescue began in looking at wildfire events, focusing on being able to use both cameras uh, and thermal sensors in order to, to map out an area in a dense forest environment while there's smoke and fire going on. The wildfire drones also use fisheye cameras, stereo thermal cameras, and LIDAR. This is to make sure that we have a complete map and situational awareness of the environment. Perhaps one of our more famous drones is the one that was used in the Subterranean Challenge. You can see that this is a highly customized drone system, forward and upward and downward looking cameras, lots of strobe lights for getting into underground environments and being able to operate in complete darkness, and then a capable LiDAR system. Our most recent drone, an Ascent Aero Spirit drone, as the base platform to test new platforms for data collection. On the bottom of the Spirit drone, you can see that there is a stereo vision camera with a LiDAR system on it, as well as on the top, a custom camera system. 